Hi guys, this is Maluchip and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today we're not gonna work at the swimming pool. Uh, we've worked a lot. I have the, a little preparation as you can see. Today we are gonna look at Aldi because I do know that like bracelet not attuned yet. So there are still spots on the map that I'm missing. I think this one is for the city. Uh, we know that this one is for the Temple of Frost. He is located over, I think it's over here at this little bump that it's at. Uh, we do know that there's one at the volcano. I think it's this one, uh, but I'm not really sure. It kind of makes sense if that's the Temple of Frost and the only thing between the Temple of Frost. And I do know that there is one I think at the upper staging area, I know there was one that we activated over here, but I kind of want to figure out where they all lead to. And as you can see, I've put up signs so I can actually fill them in. So that's the first thing we're actually going to keep ourselves busy with. If we, uh, if it doesn't take too long to actually record this, uh, I was thinking of actually trying to um, like upgrade our temples today as well, see what we need for there. Because I kind of have an NPC I kind of want to farm out with the Lemurians. Because the Lemurians still don't have... Well, they don't have an outfit yet. So yeah, I have a lot of plans for the day. But I'm going to see how long it actually takes to record them all. So uh, I think the volcano is the easiest one to test out. That way we can... No. First, we're going to need gear. Gear to be able to survive. Don't fall to your death. No. Perfect. And gear is all located inside in our box. Or at least it should be. Come on, delays. Yeah, I just started up the game, so it, it kind of, kind of... I usually wait for like 5 to 10 minutes uh, before I actually... Uh, let's take at least a stack of this. Maybe one more stack, just to be safe. And then we want... At least two of these. We won't. I, we actually can't take too much. And of course, we're gonna take our new gear. <laughs> kind of have to. Uh, we need to take this sword, not this one. Uh, we kind of want to take the. Where's the pickaxe? Are they still in the box? We have all the rest over there. Want to take another drinking bag? Do not have any oh, island berry juice? Perfect. So let's set it up like we always do. Put these over here. And here. There. Let's equip them. And what do we usually have here again? Where else are only 16 arrows. Yeah, don't need to bring the bow then. We only have 16 arrows, so not an intention to make any extra arrows. I think we got everything right. We're missing something. Let's take the cleaver and the uh, skidding knife. You never know what you come across. Tears of two races and the shining trapeze is done. We're still going to need to look into the actual end game as well. Let's put our signs away at least. And our pants. We don't need those. Yeah, I think we're we think we're kind of good to actually survive and be able to <laughs> basically be able to run back home uh, after we went to a place and actually figured out. I think it's this one, right? Am I gonna be able to get on there? I'm gonna take off my gear, else I cannot get on there. Always funny that the pink actually stays. Let's go. I should make stairs in this. Isn't there like stairs you can do? Well, maybe that will block the platform. I could make like uh, one of the... No, they're all... Yeah, what of this one? Like remove this one. I know there's one with a hatchet and then make a stairs down there. Not sure how that will work. Uh, let's get our gear on. There we go. Now let's check it out. Uh, so first one, Temple of Frost. We know that one. This one is not attuned yet, so let's take this one. Enter. Let's see where we come out of. And then it's basically running back and, and taking every teleport, so I basically know all the positions. And we can kind of, sort of, see more likely where... Ooh. Okay, so that is the... 
that is actually the archives okay that's not too far from home all right so that was actually bracelet not a tune so this one and that was the archives right yeah the archives the archives archives <laughs> i'm gonna need to check again uh makes sense for me but ah uh, it's correct it's correct the archives okay so we have that one enter map room that's gonna bracelet not a tunes bracelet not a tune I, I don't think we bracelet not a tune i don't think we ha really have a lot of them teleport we have this one uh it's next to the green one i felt wait where is that green glow gone to Bracelet not attuned. Is it actually a glow that gives off where it was? Oh, if I teleport there, it's over there. So that's gonna make it. I have no idea. Is that the jungle? It's the jungle, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's see. All right, so we are at gaining corruption and holy hell lag. I should open my map like any second now. Okay, so I was correct. It's at the upper staging area. Okay, so upper staging area, was it? Upper staging area, okay. Okay, safe. So we have one, and <laughs> that's not a lot. Two, three. Okay, let's see. We have this one. Oh, and I already have it. Where do you come out of? Do not. No, not attuned. And this is the volcano. We know that one. That's still a lot that we need to find, actually. Yeah, volcano one. Perfect. Alright, so that one was the volcano. It was an easy one. Got a couple trolls uh, fixing up for some positions I need filling up later on. Uh, Temple of Frost. And actually, volcano and the upper staging area. So, what do we have between the volcano and the upper staging area? Because the upper staging area is, is over here. And we have the volcano over here, so what can between... There's nothing really here, right? Can I explore this entire region properly? Hmm. We do know that there's one above this, there's not the summoning place. Where is it? The sinkhole? The arena? Was it, was it over here, the arena? There was one there, but then we align? Well, let's, uh, let's, let's go find out, I guess. Let's uh, choose one of them off this place and take a stroll down the middle. I should have actually done that when I came. Yeah, I'm gonna run through so many places today that I actually ran past here. Volcano and then... I guess there's gotta be one around the city then as well. So yeah, first we're gonna run through the middle. Look at the construction. I'm still thinking that I need to make it maybe out of uh, the staircase, out of another material. So it stands out a little more, the slide, versus the actual... Still need to work a lot on that. Don't die. Crack. That was a really delayed sound. Okay, on to the middle. Alright, should be right here. And yeah, there it is. I thought that we got some corruption up top here as well. Let's make sure we don't fall in on that hyenas. Isn't this uh, obelisk as well? A tomb bracelet. 
Yeah, we passed by her already. Uh, journal, we probably read. Coming in over a red moon. Okay, another journal and a campfire here. Uh, crap. So we have one more attunement. Okay. All right. So where was the uh, attunement? Bracelet not attuned. Not attuned. Teleport. So it's gonna be this one. So purple one, middle of the map. Yeah, that's gonna be. What was it again? The sinkhole. Or the arena. Sinkhole. Safe. So one, two, three, left, four. Four and five. Okay, so we got five out of ten. That's not that's not bad, right? So I'm gonna go towards because the next part that I want to do is actually Temple of Frost. No, I need to go towards the upper staging area because next we are gonna move into... The Ooh, there goes the map. I'm gonna move into the jungle towards the Lemurians and I'm gonna try to farm out the armor level 3. It's definitely something I actually wanted to do today. And we need to go that direction. Alright, I know what you're thinking. You're back home again. Yeah, I'm back home again. Uh, before we can go out to farm, we actually need the tools to farm. And to get the... Uh, where was it? The manifestations of seal. We actually need to cut out the hearts of people. That's with the Seth knife. And then... Uh, it's all the way around. Let's jump off and use the new stairs. I have built some staircases at the back of the towers where you shouldn't really be able to see them, but just an easy way for me to get up without having to call in. If, if the elevators are... I tested it. Uh, if the elevator is actually in position and I start the elevator and then jump off and then try to run up here, because I still need to... The ladder actually functions as a platform you can rest on and then just continue to climb. Uh, but climbing on this with the full gear and not being able to climb up instantly, the elevator is actually faster between the towers than me running and climbing. So Yimmer really didn't need anything. So yeah, basically ran up here for no reason. Yeah, elevator's here. Let's take this one. That's faster. That way you guys can have a nice little look over the village. And it's time we uh, dress up these guys. And as I gonna need to rip out hearts and uh, get flesh and get some essence, I think. No, it was only flesh and heart, right? Wait. Hmm. Now I'm not sure anymore. We'll, we'll see in a second. I love how the trees actually respawn there. Uh, for me, I have these settings down that it respawns real close. So we have almost everything in here for the upgrades because uh, we have a high priest in here so we can uh, actually upgrade it. Need the manifestations of seal, offerings to Mithra. Uh, I think one offering or creating one offering actually uh, makes one manifestation of seal or how does it work? How do I get the manifestations of seal? Hmm. Anyway, we're gonna need to ank for, uh, well, Lingering Essence, uh, not sure, a human heart and unblemished human meat offerings to Mitra. Not really sure anymore how this works. <laughs> Always fun to discover something again, right? Uh, so let's run this one. We should have a ladder up here, if I actually built one. Seriously, I forgot this tower. I know I did three towers, but apparently I didn't do this one. Oh, we can't climb up here. If we take out a couple of our gears, no, we, we should be able... Oh, it's still draining a lot. Is it that big of a difference, actually? Like, removing, like, only one or two pieces? Instead of just removing everything? Yeah, it's kind of strange. It's kind of strange. 
So let's get up and the last one we needed was the Yorg. Uh, we do have all the ingredients here for the upgrade as well. Uh, but yeah, manifestations of seal and I think we get that by crafting purified flesh. So that's the cleaver for. Uh, we have it in here, don't need to craft another one. So yeah, now I actually have the tools I need to, well, most definitely actually these two. And then if I want to make the healing, I, well, basically Mithrun, because I haven't been using a lot of that. So yeah, time for me to head towards the jungle, to head towards the pagoda of the boundless lust and farm out my armor. Okay, so we found a Lemurian armor level 3. Haven't been around here for long, but I think I'm gonna kill him if I actually gonna hit him. Let's see what one hit does. Oh, might not actually kill him. Let's keep his uh, his armor his, his health bar really in check. Yeah, he's not hitting me at all. Oh no no no, this is gonna work. Come on, get those hits in. Yeah, he's not damaging me at all. Ah, oh, perfect. So we got our Lef Lemurian armor level 3. I really hope he has uh, actually uh, clothes for our people. Alright, so back home with Mithra. And we can offering to Mithra. We should be able to create a couple at least. I think this is what we needed, right? So we needed how much? 30? Oh, this is perfect. So let's craft 30. And then in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, we're gonna stick away this flesh so it doesn't really spoil and check our armor if he actually has new sets for us. And I do need to repair all my uh, gathering tools. Armorers are yar. <laughs> I always feel like a pirate when I say stuff like that. Not a Lemurian, not dressed. Yeah, we can't have that. So let's see. What are you? Lemurian armor? Oh, see, <laughs> seriously, I already had one. Uh, I can't be serious. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, are you the same one? So what is it? Is the exceptional shields? Does he give a quillian chest plate, I think? Yeah, it's a five recipe. I think that's the only one that's actually new in here. Samorian thief boots. Hmm. Is this the only Lemurian set? What do we need? Medium gauntlets and rhino hides. Steel bars, steel bars, rhino hide, rhino hide. Okay, so let's craft up a couple sets of those, and apparently, yeah, I do believe it's the same, same vendor. Northheimer Priest, yeah, we're not in there, uh, so let's put away some of our materials that we need, don't need. Uh, Northheimer Priest, we still need to check where we need to actually put in him, and the tools I need to repair later on. Okay, let's grab some materials. So these seals, the last one should be done, 30. There we go. So let's craft one of these. And that's, of course, gonna take a whole while before it's ready. Or not. It's gonna be okay. Let's, uh, let's go down for a second, check on the NPCs. Ow. So yeah, left him alone with a vest, no helmet. I am wearing the pieces myself, as I apparently noticed just now. Someone in full armor, the fighters. He only has a helmet on. He's, he's basically coming back from the bar, I can imagine. Uh, full armor here. Uh, basically, the set was not of the Lemurians. The Lemurian armor didn't give uh, different sets. The set was... Well, it was... We were able to find it in Edelbrut Feats. Let's see, armor... What was it? I think it's on the Great Civilization. Yeah, it's of the Great Civilization set. 
So we have the Stygians in here as well, uh, Aquilians and Zamorians. So the Zamorians we can actually give a different set. And then we need to craft up some Stygian armors for the Stygians that we might want to hold out. So we do, we do have uh, two armor sets that we can actually switch between a little bit here. That, uh, yeah, that wasn't uh, the main issue we wanted to do today. I wanted to see which of the parts I already had. And at least see how we could progress in leveling up these towers. And this tower probably is not going to be ready yet. It's a level 3 NPC that's in there, right? Because the zeals took a whole long time before. They oh, it's almost done. Look at that. Yeah, it's a high priest, right? So, uh, kind of don't want to take anything out in case we, we lose it. It kind of should, should evolve on its own or... How did it work? Does it change on its own? I think it changes on its own. Let's, let's, let's quickly check. This is going to be... Yeah, minute-ish. Yeah, if we have uh, 30 for this level, I can only imagine that it's going to go up for the next level. And we have three levels to do out of one, two, three, four, five different uh, religions. So that's a lot of farming up of hearts and flesh. And we only get, even with my increased rates, we only get like one per corpse. So farming out at a place like that where it's not really... Uh, there's not a really bountiful a lot of NPCs. Uh, I think we're better off at the the first. I kind of don't want to skip a moment before we miss it. Oh, there it is. And did we lose anything? Yeah, it's still big. The platform is still big enough to carry it, so that's good. I was kind of wondering how big it would become. Uh, the high priest is still in here. And now we have the statue of refreshment. We have Mithrian tunics maybe for our priests let's put it back in where is she where is she she's supposed to be here somewhere right isn't she okay nobody here i always thought she was sitting here somewhere so we do have some spots over and Mithra and Ankh just the same. And yeah, offerings again, human heart. And let's craft these 10 at least and upgrade the temple 75. So 75 and 30, 105 then for each times 5. That's, well, 500 hearts plus minus. <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, a whole lot of farm. Yeah, we upgraded our temple, we checked out which uh, locations we already had for the map room and we dressed up some NPCs. So we did an all around work at the major, uh, well at the base, uh, no swimming pool today. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.